Hey, what's up everyone? Thunder Bob here, and tonight I'm checking out uh, another new VR game. This is Pickup Basketball. This is a VR basketball game, something that seems really interesting. Um, this just came out yesterday, actually, on the 26th of February, and we're going to check this out. Avatars. Seems like you got a pretty good option. Nice, it picks up your Steam name. So you got like four faces, variety of skin tones, eye color. Yeah. Is that like a random? Okay. Yeah, that's me. That's totally me. Let's just get right into a single player match. Get the gym, 4th Street, and Paris. I pressed the little arrow. Okay, it takes a second. Skyrise. Let's just go to the gym, I guess. Three point contest, free shoot. You can turn shot assist on or off, whatever that does. Oh, there's a tutorial over there. Maybe I should do that actually. Point your controller at the buttons on this menu and pull the trigger to select. I like the music. Press the left menu button to open up your wrist menu. Oh, okay. All right, now let's try moving around. Select one of the three options below. Teleport, ghost to teleport. Let's do locomotion. We'll go with locomotion. Press B or Y to spawn, grab it, and keep the trigger held. That's not the trigger, that's the grip, but okay. Now flick your wrist in a downward motion. Hey! Do not let go of the trigger. Oh. Oh, okay. Just hold the grip. That's pretty clever. Now try cross dribbling. Pull and hold both triggers when dribbling. I'm not so good on this, uh, Cross dribbling yet. That feels pretty pretty good though. Press B or Y to spawn a new ball in front of you. A shoot towards the basket. Oh. All right. Now try guiding your shot with your off hand. You saw that, right? Okay, is that the end of the tutorial? I don't see. Now charge your jump by pressing and holding. Oh! Dunking! 
Oh, snap. To hang on to the rim, press and hold the grip buttons as your hand reaches the rim. Oh, okay. That's like... Can I not grab it? Maybe I have to use the trigger? No more. Yeah, it's the trigger. Duh. Okay. With a ball in your hand. Okay. This is complex. This is asking a lot. Rejected. Hey, let's just keep going. To pass hold the grip down when throwing the ball towards another player or towards the backboard. That's not what I wanted. I'm just too good, I can't not make it. Okay. And it's that's getting hard to get used to. Like the movement is like a little too fast. Let's try passing the ball to yourself by passing it on the backboard. Pass hold the grip down when you throw the ball towards another player or towards the backboard. I'm holding the grip. Can I not grab it? I feel like I'm doing that. Alright, I can't figure out what they want me to do. We're gonna just skip it. Let's just go play. Wonder if there's bots or if it's all real people. I feel like I'm gonna hit something is the problem. You kinda gotta give it like a good heft. Where'd the ball go? Alright, that's kinda... I really like the dribbling. That feels like pretty, pretty good. Except getting it back to my starting hand is like... See, now that one doesn't want to dribble once you do that.
This kind of doesn't feel right. And they kind of use the grip and the uh, trigger interchangeably in the, the directions because it's actually to grab on to the, to the backboard, it's the trigger. But to grab the ball, it's the grip. Feels a little awkward. But yeah, there's the, no AI or anything. Let's try. Uh... Oh, start game. Five, four, three, two, one, go. Okay, so it's like I'm trying to get as many as I can, I suppose. Ugh. What the? Too close to the basket. What's happening? Man. All right, I guess I go to the next spot. It's like, it feels a little off. I can't quite figure out why. What the heck? Maybe I'm releasing it at like the wrong arc. It's like, let's see if I pick Skyrise. So I got a free shoot, or I got a three point contest. So like single player, seems like at least in this early access is, is fairly limited. Let's just see what's going on online. There's matchmaking. You can play horse. Hmm. All right, matchmaking. This is an early access game that literally just got released. See if there's just any games. Oh, really? I want, I want to play some basketball. Let's try this. Create game. Skyrise. We'll do 21 points. I always used to play 21 back in the day. You, nice, you can adjust the the rules. Turn traveling on or off. Double dribble. We'll just see if someone joins up. It's at least nice that they drop you into into the level while you're waiting. I'm getting uh, 90 frames. Very little reprojection. Pretty good performance. Will anyone join me? Or is this going to be the loneliest basketball game? God. Thing is, you, get, you can't just fake it. You actually have to like kind of hit it like you would a real basketball, which I haven't done in God five years. I used to play basketball literally once a week for a number of years, and uh, then I got old. <laughs> Tried to jump in and. Uh, I think I was doing better in the practice. Will someone come play with me? Man, that's hard.
I mean, it's in in concept, it's cool. Like the controls are pretty well thought out. Like the dribbling mechanic, you're really and it, like it snaps to your hand, so it's kind of like almost feels like a real basketball game. And then you can kind of. I just don't want to always go to the other hand. No, I can't dribble. I don't know, the, the going between the hands feels a little broken. But as long as you're doing one hand, it works. See? Should be able to switch it a little easier. Maybe it's because I'm double dribbling. hand in the way. Well, this might be a short video if I can't get anyone online. <gasps> that probably looks ridiculous on the video, but uh, it feels pretty good. I am only like 5'11 on a good day, so I've never dunked in my life. Your hand keeps getting in the way, it's part of it. So you gotta like grab the very the right part of the basket. Huh. Well uh, it's a pretty pretty decent rendered basketball court. How can you get? Can I two-hand it? <sighs> okay. Well, this might be it. I uh, This game came out yesterday, and it does not seem to have a player base where I can just jump in and play with people. Maybe this is one that you kind of need to coordinate with people on Discord, which is a little unfortunate. Everything's set to high by default. Looks like there's... Must be voice, considering you can mute people. I like horse. That's cool that there's an option. Free shoot. Three pointer. Two versus two. One versus one. It's not private. Let's try one more time. Oh. Ah, oh. 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 Oh, someone just joined. Let me see if I can get back in there. Now it's like, what's going on? I think it crashed. Not a fatal error. <sighs> All right. So I'm going to try to get into a multiplayer match one more time. Someone joined my game right, like, as I was, uh... uh... Right as I was exiting out. Create a game again. It's like a hand print right there, that's cool. I want to climb, but I can't. It's kind of got like that climby mechanic where you, like your hand like grips it and you can pull yourself up higher. But it seems like they only let you do that like one time and then you lose like the grip. I'm going to give this like two minutes and then I'm done for now. That's the one bad thing is uh, I've played a couple of really cool VR games that just don't have the player base. Uh, Hover Junkers comes to mind. That's a game that early on had, you know, decent player base. 
Is that someone joining? Hello? Uh, but unfortunately, over time... Is there like a ghost in the machine? Unfortunately, um, it lost its player base, and I booted up a few times and there's literally no one playing. So that kind of sucks. That's weird, it's like my hand is automatically shooting it. Let's try that again. Um, another one comes to mind called Breach It, which is literally just uh, count is a Rainbow Six Siege in VR. It's really cool, destructible walls and everything. It was pretty pretty early on, but just never never got a player base. It's unfortunate. I feel like this is something that you know could be fun. You just you need people to play with, or you need bots or something. I think I'm gonna call it a night here. I like the concept. The controls are pretty competent. It's early access, there's still work to be done, but I need someone to play against. If you've got this game and you're looking uh, you know, to, to play, why don't you hit me up? I'd be happy to try a game. Again, uh, as always, thank you for checking out my channel. If you want, check out some other videos. If you like them, think about subscribing. I would, uh, I would appreciate it. Have a great night, everyone.